Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. Got an overview video of a cool micro brand diver from the brand Octin. This is actually a Swiss made version of their black fiskin. And there's a nice note in this package. We're gonna look at the watch in a moment, but this watch was loaned in from a subscriber named Chad. He sent it directly to me. This is his watch. He said, I want you to have it first and unbox it, do a re quick review on it or whatever you want. And so I say thank you, Chad, for letting me take a peek at your watch. And Octon actually sent this nice little note here. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you can say they're th see that they're thanking Chad for being a great customer. So it's always nice to see... Uh, uh, a note like this sent to the person who buys a watch. So good on you, Octon Watches, for that. Uh, nice packaging here. Nice presentation in this little case, as you can see. Uh, this thing can be snapped closed and even locked up if you want to lock it up. You get an extra strap in here, and you get some tools. You get a spring bar tool. No, that's a push push pin tool and a little screwdriver in there. And then here is the watch itself. I've already taken off all of the plastic. So I've looked at this watch off camera a little bit, but it is a nice diver called the Black Fiskin. And they have some different versions of this. They have one that is has an NH35 in it, but this one is completely Swiss made and it is assembled in Switzerland. This one right here has the Salita SW200 in this model. Um, the brand Octin I wasn't too familiar with, so they're based in Sweden and they do a lot of custom built watches. So you can actually go on their website and build your own watch and, and make it how you want it to be. So that is pretty cool. I encourage you to check them out if you're interested and not familiar with this brand. The bezel is a little off, so I'm going to switch that and put that back in place. And speaking of the bezel, uh, might as well just jump right into it. This is one of the best feeling bezels that I've used in a while. It's very crisp, beautiful action, feels great. So a big thumbs up for the bezel on this watch. but. Get a sapphire crystal here, it is domed. You can uh, see that there is AR coating. You can see there's a little blue tint to the crystal. 316L stainless steel. Very nice bracelet on this watch. Articulates super nicely, it just falls around. None of these links are sticking. Just very, very well done with the articulation on this bracelet. Everything is solid and brushed stainless steel. You get nice screw pins for the links. Kind of a generic clasp signed, some micro adjust there. And it is just a pressure fit clasp, but it is milled out in solid stainless steel there. But I'm really impressed with, especially these links, nice, you know, rounded links. And again, just articulates super nicely. Uh, solid end links as well. They are male end links, so they do protrude a little bit, but they have a really nice slope downward, and uh, we'll get some measurements here in a moment. Um, get a, a textured dial on this watch, kind of a subtle sand texture, as you can see, some nice indices going on, a nice large uh, hour hand, broad, broad sword there, and just just looks good. I like, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, the bezel insert here is an aluminum uh, bezel insert, I believe, that has been DLC coated. Oh no, it's stainless steel. Excuse me. It's a stainless steel insert that has been DLC coated and it is loomed. So we'll get a loom shot here in a moment. Screw down crown that is signed and there's 300 meters of water resistance on this watch right here. Let's break out the calipers and get some dimensions. See what we're working with. 40.1, so 40 millimeters or so. Case thickness, a little on the thick size, side, 13.9 millimeters. 
Lug to lug at the actual lugs themselves is 47.5 with those male end links, 52.2. Uh, and then we have a lug opening, if I can measure that, of 22 millimeters. So I'm going to put this on my six and a half inch wrist and give you a quick wrist shot. So I didn't size this watch for my wrist. I'll leave that for Chad to, to do and play around with the bracelet, but it fits nicely. Good dimensions, even with those male end links, because they slope down nicely, uh, it doesn't feel like it's uh, too big with the lug to lug distance. And, and even the thickness, uh, you know, almost 14 millimeters, but it doesn't feel too thick on my wrist. So think it looks pretty good. Let's check the loom. All right, here is a loom shot. Charged it up briefly with my UV flashlight. You can see they're using BGW9 all the way around on this watch. Uh, loomed bezel. All the indices seem to be glowing equally bright. Those 12, 9, and 6 numerals as well. And the loom looks pretty good. So as I mentioned, this isn't a full review video, it's just an overview, but I do want to share some likes and dislikes uh, about this watch, even though I've had it for just a short amount of time. I think it's a solid, well-built piece. I think it's good looking. It's got a, a simple design, but I don't think it looks bad at all. It's a very legible watch, uh, 300 meters water resistance. Um, you're going to be able to dive with this if you want to, uh, so it's very functional. And uh, I like the bezel action. I like that it's a loomed bezel. And I like the Solita SW200 movement that is in here. And then again, this bracelet. Uh, I was really impressed with these links, especially on this watch. Some of the dislikes um, actually has to do with the spring bars underneath. They are quick release spring bars. So that is always a plus. But when I was trying to to use them, I noticed that it was a little hard to get a good purchase with your fingernails to actually grip those quick release uh, uh, little nubs there uh, to be able to take it off. Now I can do it, but uh, I feel like the way the, the lugs are curved down and even this end link is curved, it's a little bit hard to get a good purchase on those quick release spring bars. So keep that in mind. Speaking of that, um, they do have this nice black strap that comes with the, the watch. It feels like it's a, a soft silicone and those are also quick release spring bars right there. Another gripe is the, the date wheel. Um, I would like to see a matching date wheel instead of white, having it be black to match the dial on this watch. But just some minor gripes that I thought I would mention, but overall, I think this is a pretty cool piece. Uh, this Swiss made version of this black Fiskin from Octon uh, starts at $599. I did not see it on the website as the making of this video, but perhaps there will be more coming if you're interested in this watch, but I'll leave a link to their website down in the description below. If you're interested, Thanks to Chad again for letting me see his watch. I'm going to ship it out as soon as I can so he can have it in his possession. If you like this video today, please hit that like button. That really helps out. We really appreciate it. Uh, please watch some other videos here on the channel. There will be some that will pop up on the end screen that you might be interested in. Click on those and stay right here on the town watch. But thank you for tuning in today. We'll see you next time.